For example C, we have a question about Mary and John painting a house together. I'm going to solve this using a version of the uh, DIRT formula, which is a common physics formula. The formula is distance equals rate times time. In this case, our distance is a house. It's the amount of time or the, uh, the amount of house that gets painted. So we're sort of going from no distance at all to completed distance, which would be a painted house. Um, what we're looking for here is to paint a whole house. We need to find Mary's rate and John's rate. So rate is what's missing. We have that we need one whole house, so our distance will be one. And our time is how long it takes them to paint the house. So to find Mary's rate, she does one house in some rate times 12 hours. So to find the rate, we need to divide both sides by 12. So Mary's rate, rate Mary, is 1 12th which means that rate John, rate John, is 1 16th. So if our whole job then, the two of them together, is one house, then we have one house is going to be the two rates added together, 1 12th plus 1 16th times some amount of time. We don't know how long it's going to take them. So we multiply both sides by t, and we'll get t equals 1 12th, plus 1 16th. Need a common denominator, so we're going to make the denominator be what, uh, 16, 32, 48? 48, yep. So we can do 4 48ths plus 3 48ths would be 7 48ths. And since 6 times 7 is 49, I'm sorry, since uh, 7 times 7 is 49, 6 point something really high is <laughs> going to be what 748 says. So we're going to say approximately equal to about 6.9. So together their total time would be 6.9 hours. For our first application of adding and subtracting rationals, we have a word problem where we're looking for the sum of a number and its reciprocal that equal 53 fourteenths. So what we have is x, which is our number, and we're going to add that to 1 over x, which is the reciprocal of x, and we want that to equal 53 over 14. So we have three different fractions, really this is x over 1, and we need a common denominator of all three of them. So we're going to have a 1, which doesn't affect anything, and an x, and a 14. So our common denominator is going to be 14x. Now we can just multiply everything by 14x to get it, because we have an, equ an equation, so we can just multiply both sides by the same thing. So if we multiply our first uh, first term by 14x, we'll get 14x times x. And then our second term, we'll get 14x times 1 over x. And then the other side of the equation, we'll have 53 over 14 times 14x. Here we can cancel the 14s. Here we can cancel x's. And here we can't cancel anything. So we reduce now and we get 14x squared plus 14 times 1, which is 14, equals 53x. If we move the x over to the other side, we'll get 14x squared minus 53x plus 14 equals 0. Now we can factor this. This is a trinomial. So if we factor it, we end up with uh, looks like 7x minus 2 times 2x minus 7. That equals 0. And then we'll solve this with the zero product rule. We'll really have two equations. 7x minus 2 equals 0. Or 2x minus 7 equals 0. So we get 7x equals 2. And x equals 2 sevenths. So that's one of our answers. And then the other side, we get 2x equals 7, so x equals 7 halves, and that's our other answer. So x is 2 sevenths, or x is 7 halves.